Hello, lovelies. Welcome to Creative Events Platform. You are welcome to today's tutorial. Today, I'm making um, a style that I'll be using the Damax. So the fabric I have with me is called uh, Damax fabric. For this uh, tutorials, the minimum fabric that you can use is two yards. So you cannot work with let's say one and a half yards, I'm not sure it's possible. So uh, out of these two yards, I will be creating the cap, which will be the bait, and then have a pleated part and a twisted part. So let me just continue with the explanation. So to make the cap, I cut out double fabric because I want it to be a little bit thick. I don't want something light. So the length, that's the width I'm using is 14 inches while the length is 28. So you can see the two of them, they are separate. Okay, I'll be using one at the back and the other at the front. Then I will cut out the base of this um, um, turban as well. And I'll be using five inches for, for the width. Then the length, the length is times two there, but I'll be separating it so it will be like five by 28. So I'll cut out the band. So this is the turban band. I said it's five, five by uh, 28 inches, five by 28. So that this, this one is for the band. I'll split it into two because I want to have a v front that is i want to cross it so because i'm going to cross i'll split it into two if i'm not going to cross i will not use uh i will not split and then i'll be using the excess part for the handle and that's the reason i'm even making this uh part of the tutorials if not i don't really think it would have been necessary for me to make the cap out i just jump straight to the design but please for the purpose or sake of those persons that might just be joining us today and also for those that are, are beginners they need to know what we are doing so that's the reason i just have to like include how to make the base of the turban in all my videos so please bear with me so to make the twisted part, I'll be cutting out nine inches. That's the width by uh, 52, 50, no, 56, yes. Nine by 56 inches. That's what I'm cutting out for the twisted part of this uh, turban. So by the time I'm done preparing the cap, I will be closing it up and when i fold it on a fold it will give me uh, 4.5 so that will be how wide the twisted part would be so straight away straight away we are also going to cut out the parts for the uh, top pleat you know there's a pleated part on this turban for the top plate we are going to also cut out that uh, part we are going to cut it out all right so for that depending on how uh, much you want your pleats to be that is how i that is how you also cut your fabric so the one I have here is uh, 27 inches by, um, I think, 34. 27 by 34 inches. That's what I have. So by the time I fold, I just check my thickness. I'm okay with this thickness anyway. So this is it. So also, I'm trying to show you different ways you can, like, uh, fold this fabric to create that pleats. Now, because it is a Damax uh, fabric, 
you do not need to pad it up. Damask has a kind of a thick texture. So it will help your it will help your thickness easily compared to other fabrics. So damask do not really need support. We have some damask that are very, very thick and you don't need to support it to create the pleat anymore. You don't need that support. So to create this cap, and this part is the reason why I am actually showing this cap. Because we know for a non-stretchy fabric, sometimes we find it difficult to like, how do we maneuver this non-stretchy fabric? So the method I'll be using today, I will not be, um, I will not separate my handle. I will get the handle straight from the band. And that is why I have uh, five inches by, that's why I have five inches by um, 28. So it's quite long. So that's why I have that. I remember I cut out two uh, pieces of, or two pieces of fabric. I told you it's for the cap itself. So that's because I'll be using one inside and the other outside. You can also do this by introducing a different fabric for the one inside. It's a matter of, uh, of choice. So to create this uh, V, this is how I'll place the band just like this. Now, the part that is most sensitive is what I would be explaining to you now. If you look carefully, it will be easy. So now that I have the band on a cross, I would bring the second uh, fabric and fold it into two. Locate the middle of that crossed part where you see my hand there and place the midpoint of this fabric. And what you do is using the right side of the fabric facing each other. So the fabric under is the right side that is facing up. While the fabric I'm using on top now is the right side that is facing down. I hope you understand it that way. All right. So now this is the technique. And this is the part that I would really want you to listen to. Remember, we already have the midpoint for the uh, V. So that midpoint will help us to also know the midpoint for the turban. So from that uh, midpoint, we are going to be taking a certain measurement to the left and to the right. So. I will be taking eight inches from both sides, which when you join together will give you like 16. And remember that the head circumference is uh, 22. Sometimes it can be 21 for adults. So even if we are working with 21, if we have 16 and the bed starts from there, because we don't want a situation whereby by the time you like tighten the belt, it will not have effect on the turban that is that situation can only occur when you 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 fix uh the turban too far before uh, uh, attaching or having the parts for the belt so the highest you can do from the midpoint is nine inches don't even think of doing 10 inches 10 is too much but between eight and nine is perfect that's it's perfect so i'll be taking eight inches from that place i'll pin it down and then i'll sew now i will sew from the beginning of that is from the edge of the fabric anyway but i will be i will be pulling out the uh, band from that particular point so from that point of one to eight, 
the band will be included, but after it, the band will no longer be there. I'll pull it inside the top band. This will enable me have it separated from the top band after the sewing. If you wash it carefully, you would understand what I'm trying to explain here. This part is very important. Another thing is you can also use the stretchy fabric for the band. You can, yes, you can use the stretchy fabric. I think I have a, I uploaded a tutorial where I used Ankara and a scuba. So if you find it difficult to like create the band for your non-stretchy fabric, then you can combine with the stretchy fabric so that your work will always be like a top notch. All right. So now this, the part I am going to sew is the only part you see me rolling there. And that is that does not mean I'm not sewing the rest too. But that part I'm rolling is where the band, the turban band will be included. After that part, the band will not be needed. So the band will be separated, but I would be sewing the rest part. So just watch what I am going to do now. So... Because I want to start the sewing from this end, I pull the band inward. I do not want to sew it along with this other part. I hope you are following. So right now, the band is separated. It's inside. So when I turn it out now, you will see that the band is separate. One other thing you can do is that you can actually uh, sew this band, turn it out before using it so that the part you are using for the belt Will just be neat on its own and you would not need to um uh, like try to sew that part anymore in a bit to knit it up so that's one other aspect all right so now we we just sew we sew carefully also and making sure that every part that needs to sit is well seated and then you can see that, you see where my hand is, my other hand is resting there. You see that you have the excess of the band coming out. It's very compulsory because that's the only way you can have the flow that will create that uh, V look for you. If you do not cross properly, by the time you finish sewing, it will look so smooth that you will not be able to point out the part that is the V part. And you don't want that to happen so you just have to and then while you are sewing also you have to check all edges to make sure that all the part that needs to come out is out if not you might just end up sewing and then you find out you've missed one or two parts of that uh, your band you don't want that to happen so you just have to sew and be careful so look at this last part again you can see i'm pulling the handle in while i rest yes and then i'll sew so i'll sew the remaining part without the handle so let me just finish it up and then i'll show you how it looks what i succeeded in doing with that you understand let me just show you sometimes we can add a uh, elastic band at the back and i think i've also uploaded like two or more videos on how i attach the elastic band to non-stretchy fabric so this tutorial is for those people that want to use the belt on it so you can see it is out here and it's also out on the other side you see it uh, just like that that is how i achieve it so with this you don't need to like Start attaching extra bed so both the bed and the band is prepared at the same time so i will now sew the opened part of the band to close it up you understand and like i said before if you do not uh or if you think you will not be able to do it like that then you first of all close the band turn it out before using it on the band so by the time you do that this part that is out now you will not have the stress you are challenge or trying to like 
piece it up like I'm doing now. So what I'll just do is close it. I'll just close it together. It's very easy to create anyway. I'll just close it together now. You know what I'll do what I do to the right hand side or what I did to the right hand side. I'll do same to the uh, left hand side as well. Okay, now let me uh, should I say divert, digress? I know your English. So let me just like um, ship in something quickly for those people that are seeing Creative Ends platform for the first time. You are welcome to my platform, and I promise you that everything you will learn here, there are things that will be of value to you. So please do not forget to subscribe to this channel before leaving. You might have other channels that you've subscribed to. It doesn't really matter. When you learn from one or two different persons, you, you, your knowledge will be embroidered in or enlarged your, your knowledge will increase because the process or way or manner I go about my uh, training might also be different from other platforms that you have subscribed to so please do not forget to subscribe to creative events platform and also hit on the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever I upload a new video Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Do not forget to see it on that like button too. I'm very much encouraged when I see people eating on that. I like this video uh, button. It encourages me. If that's the only thing you can even do for me, it's okay. And I will not forget to say this tutorial is a uh, demanded tutorial. My subscribers actually send it to me. So I'm just using this opportunity to tell you that you can send me what you want to learn on WhatsApp. And also, I have a page. I've never mentioned it before. I have a page where uh, a lot of my subscribers are gathered. Yes. So from that place, they ask me questions, one-on-one -on -one questions. And sometimes I give them one-on-one -on -one training also. We can just do some... We have a lot of people in that group also that they are helping each other there. So uh, as many that have sent me I or one message or the other, I will try to add you to that group if already you are not in that group so that you can always ask questions. And if you don't have my details, check my videos. Most of my videos do have my details. So that you can send me, I I will add you to the group. And if you are a beginner, good news, you are you are at the right place. You are on the right uh, channel. You are here, and where you are, you are in safe hands. I promise you that a lot of my subscribers know that they are in safe hands. It's only when I'm very busy that I might not really be able to give them what create tutorials for them, but. You are in savings. Don't forget to subscribe. Just subscribe to encourage me. So right now, we are folding the top, the top of this turban. You know, it's just like creating normal gather plate. And if you watch me, though I was talking, 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 I have shown like two different methods of gathering the fabric. And make sure that you use same uh, length. In folding because it will help you to arrange it well. If you use different lengths, just fold it anyhow. You will not be able to arrange and get that flat look, and you don't want that to happen. So, because of that, you just need to like fold carefully. You can almost sit down, put it on your leg, and start to fold carefully. All right, so now we are placing it on the top band. We we'll place it on the base of the turban and then we sew it on it. But this particular part, which is this pleated part, will only take half of the turban, half. 
So if the S circumference is uh, 22, so divide by 2 is 11. And don't forget that some part of the back might not be inclusive so that you can tie. So we might just have like 2 inches from the back. So it's like this pleated part will take 10 and then the twisted part will take 10. I hope you understand it the way I've just explained. All right. So after pleating this part now, we are going to be introducing the twisted part. For that twisted part to really like come out the way it ought to, we we'll need to be attaching something to it. So please don't be in a hurry. And also the way, the method I'm going to use to be fixing it to the, um, to this pleated part also, I think you'll be interested in that uh, method. All right. So let's split, let's split, let's split, let's split. So now that I, you have to check this mid, the midpoint, that is the V part there, is what we uh, show you the middle. Eh? So from that part now, I'll just use my needle and thread and sew that part. After sewing uh, that part together, I'm just careful not to cross my thread uh, in a way that you now start seeing the thread. So I'll just like sew that part and make sure that I sew it very well. So I'll pin it down. I'll pin it down. I'll pin the edge edges down. For these tutorials, I'm not really going to be doing the sewing, but the illustrations I'll be giving is enough for you to be able to come up with your own. So I will not be doing the sewing, you know. All right, so let's just pin it down. Let's pin it down. So that part is the excess part that we have. Okay, this is the most important part of this tutorial. You don't want to miss what I am doing. So this is the 9 inches by 56 I told you earlier on. I will now fix this chest wording. They call what I have there now chest wording. You know, the one they call breast tube is very strong, but the one they call the chest wording is soft, very soft. Yes, it can go for anything. So I'll cut out uh, 9 by 34 inches. 9 by 34 inches. And then I'll just fix it in. So on both the left and the right, I'll be having some fabric that will be excess. I like it that way because it will help me to finish it neatly without any part of this uh, chest wording showing. Yes. All right. So now I am done. I will twist and then use it to hold. You can see what I am doing. That is why you are not seeing the twisting on this part. So you use it to hold the pleats, that pleated part together. So let's do it again. Just twist it uh -huh, like this. And then use it to hold the twisted part together. Like this. Yes. So after that, you, you can get somebody to hold it for you. And then just use needle and thread to tack that part that has to be tight. Okay? To, to be able to hold that uh, pleat together. And then you just twist. Twist it tight. The first twisting I did wasn't tight. That was why I had to like this. So twist it very tight. Let it be tight. Now the the size of the chest wording you use actually depends on the size of the twist you want. If you don't want your twist to be that big, you don't need to go for nine. Eh? You can go for six. You can go for five. Just that it will be very small. But if you want it big, nine is okay. All right, so now after I am done, I'll just like fold this fabric inward and then I will have to like tuck it inward and, and use my needle and thread to do my final tacking. If you don't do that, it will not have the capacity to stand on its own. And by the way, I introduced something else that can help it to stand on its own. So please stay tuned and watch this video to the end. 
So you can actually just like hold it like this. So now to help it stand on its own, I just introduced the breast tube, you know. The breast tube is a little bit uh, strong. So we we'll just give it a little curve, like a semicircle uh, curve. And then the height you want is what you also have to trim out. Then pass it into the fabric, you understand? And then you do your final sewing. Yes. So I find out it wasn't high enough. So I have to like go to the back and lift the breast tube to the a certain height before I start folding it inward. So you just like fold it the way you see me folding now. And then use needle and thread, very small needle, and just pass one thread through it. Don't double it so that the work you are doing and get the exact color of the fabric so that the needle sewing you are doing will not be obvious for people to, to see because you need to like do some sensitive tacking eh, for you to so this putting in of breast tube is optional it's, it's not it's not compulsory you can do it without the breast tube i do hope you enjoy today's class if you do don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you don't give it a thumbs up i will be angry yes so give it a thumbs up i'll see you in my next video say comment ask questions I will respond. Ask those people that have been asking questions here. I will respond. There's no way I will not respond. So I will see you in my next video for now. It's bye. And please do not forget that we are going to be adding belt to the left and the right side. We are going to add belts that will help us to tie it. Do not forget that. And on that part, there will be a belt. And on the other side, too. There will be a bet. So for now, it's bye from me. I love you so much. Thank you for all the subscription and all the comments. Bye.